Hey, what's up guys? Gemini, back with another video. Today to talk about myths. Uh, we're gonna look at self-destruction of the ultimate work. Hey, what's up guys? Gemini, and uh, you know, for the longest time, I've been pretty harsh on this DVD, The History of the World Heavyweight Championship. Now, what I'm going to do, to be fair, is I'm going to go back and give this one a second look to see if this DVD can uh, redeem itself, because I remember it being a lying piece of crap, but I'm going to go back and watch it now and see if maybe... I was a little harsh on it, so we're going to check it out. Make sure you subscribe to my buddy, Reaper Taking Over. Uh, he won a little bet from me, so there's this plug up there. Anyways, and you can hit his name in the subscribe box, too. Uh, that's Blake, and he's a good dude. Uh, History of the World Heavyweight Championship. I'm going to give it a second look. We're going to find out. Maybe I was a little harsh on it, so let's go take a look. Okay. Just so you guys uh, don't think I'm full of shit about actually putting this in and watching it. It's going in the DVD player right now. Just to show you guys. Okay, just so you guys can see that I'm not full of shit. It's right there on play. We're going to hit play. Obviously I can't show you their copyright footage. So, I'll be back with some reactions and stuff. And we'll get to the bottom of this. If I was being fair on this DVD or not, so let's get to it. Okay, it's uh, it's starting off pretty good with the uh, you know the story about how wrestling's the world's o oldest sport, you know, showing the Romans and stuff doing the wrestling. So it's starting off pretty damn good. I I do like this part right here with the Romans wrestling and how far it goes back because it's all true. Wrestling was the first sport in the world. That is true. Okay, very good so far. Enjoying the backstory. They've been discussing George Hackenschmidt, who became the world champion in 1905. They talked about his battles with Frank Gotch in 1908 at Chicago's Dexter Park. They talked about how wrestling and boxing was the uh, top draw back in the 21st century. NBA hadn't really got going yet, and uh, football was only getting crowds of three or 400. So they were talking about how Gotch and Hackenschmidt had a, a match at Comiskey Park, the new Comiskey Park, the old home of the White Sox, um, where they drew over 30,000 fans. So pretty, pretty damn good story so far. So let's keep going. Okay, here we are so far. Uh, this is where I'm at on the DVD. Uh, Frank Gotch is dead at age 39 from kidney failure. Uh, Ed Strangler Lewis was the man in the uh, 20s, but he's also quoted as being a, a very boring wrestler, um, including some interviews with Bob Geigel. And if you're an old NWA fan, he was the president of the NWA. Uh, they, they made a reference to Ed Strangler Lewis be, being very boring in wrestling a five-hour match once. And they talked about how uh, they needed to add some theatrics so these wrestlers wouldn't get hurt and they would be able to earn a living for their family. And then we're at the part right now, in 1948, the NWA was born, and they decided to give Lou Thez the, uh, the NWA World Heavyweight Championship belt. All right, let's carry on. I haven't seen anything yet. To, it's been a while since I've seen this, so I haven't seen anything yet to hate this DVD. So far, the backstory's been excellent, so let's keep going. Okay, so we're progressing on the DVD pretty well. Um... They just talked about Lou Thez holding the uh, title for seven years, including some interviews with Larry the Axe Henning and Harley Race. And they talk about the boom of TV in the 50s and Whipper Billy Watson, Dick Hutton, uh, Pat O'Connor. They talked about the Nature Boy, Buddy Rogers. And now we're at the part in 1963 where Gene Kaninsky uh, wrestled Lou Thez. So we're going through the origins. We're going through the history of professional wrestling. So... Pretty detailed, intense story so far. So nothing to badmouth so far. Just watching a bunch of legends paving the way for the legends of today. So let's keep going. Okay, progressing along, uh, along nicely, we got Dory Funk Jr. won the belt in 1969. Held the belt for four years. 
Harley Race became the champion in 1973 for his first title run. He still looked the same in 73 as he does today. Amazing. And uh, then Jack Briscoe took the belt from Harley Race. Jack Briscoe talks about how he got sick of being the champion for uh, three years. He says he was just sick of it. And then we're at the part right now where Terry Funk just won the belt in December of 1975 in Miami. Okay, guys, we're getting there. Uh, Harley Race won the belt in 1977, beating Terry Funk. And then they did a profile on Harley Race. Uh, moving forward, we're at Starkey 83, November 83, Greensboro, North Carolina, a flare for the gold. And they're going to get into profiling Ric Flair here. Woo! So far, so good. I mean, I know I've been harsh on this, but so far, so good. So let's see if they fuck it up or uh, they continue with this awesomeness. I'm loving this old stuff. Okay, there's the first hole in the DVD that I just saw right now. They were profiling Ric Flair when he won the belt in 1983. Okay? He won the belt at Stark in 83. Now, they just skip forward to 1985, his uh, feud, his program with Dusty Rhodes, 84-85. Here's the thing. Uh, Flair, if we're going to go title for title, if we're going to go what wrestler lost the belt to who, then they need to continue it because they went, the previous matches on this, they went, or the previous dot, I can't talk. Okay, they went from wrestler to who he lost the belt to, to who he lost the belt to, to who he lost the belt to. Now, Flair lost the belt to Kerry Von Erich in 1984. But the DVD just skipped that entire part, how he lost the belt to Kerry Von Erich in Dallas in 84. They just skipped right over that. That was for the big gold belt. That was for the NWA belt. Now they skipped over that, and they went right to the thing with Dusty Rhodes in 84-85. So that's strike one. You can't just skip over it if you're going to show all the previous champions. You just skipped over Kerry Von Erich. Okay, there's a couple more screw-ups. The, the, the DVD just skipped over to 1988. They skipped over the Flair and Garvin stuff in uh, 87. If you remember, September 87, Garvin beat Flair for the belt in Detroit. In November 87... Flair beat Garvin for the belt. So if you're going to go who beat who for the championship year by year, they're missing more title changes. And now they're talking about 1988 and WCW, but they're showing a clip of Rick Rude and Ricky Steamboat from 92 in an Iron Man match at Beach Blast. So we're striking out a little bit here as we go a little bit further in the DVD. Okay, there's another screw-up. They just talked about the buyout. WCW, the NWA, 1988. And they just talked about how it was now referred to as the WCW belt. In 1988, 89, 90, it was not referred to as the WCW championship belt. Bullshit. That was still referred to as the NWA World Heavyweight Championship belt. 88, 89, 90, up until 91 when Flair went to the WWF. So that's about four or five screw-ups now on this DVD. It was the NWA World Heavyweight Championship, not the WCW championship. That didn't come until later. Okay, here we go again with the BS. Okay, here we go again. Now we're starting to fade a little bit from the truth. The early legends, we were, we were accurate in our facts, okay? They just went to where Flair left with the NWA or the World Heavyweight Championship in 1991. They, they are quoting on this DVD that... Uh, WCW needed a new champion since Flair left. They just fast forwarded all the way from 1991 and forgot about all that stuff. All those champions from 91 to 92 and they fast forwarded to August 92, Vader and Simmons. Okay, when Simmons won the belt in August of 92. But there was that that's not correct because if you remember Lex Luger had that belt in 1991. Sting had that belt in early 92. You know, now we're just fast forwarding up until August of 92 because Ron Simmons was a WWE favorite. See where I'm going with this? Okay, we're 42 minutes into the dock. The dock is 57 minutes. I'm just, I'm just done with this. I'm just, I'm done at this point. I, I, I've had it. 
this is exactly where they got me last time, and they've got me this time too. You know, they, they skipped over to Ron Simmons being the first African-American champion. Um, that's great. That has nothing to do with the lineage of the, the big gold belt. Simmons never held the big gold belt. The international world title was held by Masahiro Chono. That was the big gold belt in 92, and they didn't mention it. They skipped 1991 completely, and in 93 they broke away, and they just showed Hulk Hogan in 1993. Hulk Hogan was not the WCW champion in 93. He was just jobbing to Yokozuna at the King of the Ring in 93. He didn't start till 94 when he held the big gold belt. Okay, that's it. Let's wrap this. Okay, I told you guys. I, I knew it. I still hate this DVD. It still lies. It still skips around. From WCW, 91, 92, 93, it's, it's all BS. I still hate this DVD after all these years. It still is a lying piece of crap. Their story sucks. They changed the, fact for the, young, the facts for the younger audience. It still sucks. So I gave a second look. I was very fair about it. Still, it's a piece of crap in my eyes. Gemini, peace.